Hey guys. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, it's only 2.45 right now, which I'm very proud of because the past two videos I haven't posted until like 10 p.m. ish. Um, so, I'm actually doing it at like a reasonable time today, which is good. Good habits. I'm working on it, people, I swear. Um, even though I'm still in my PJs. Well, we can't ask for everything, can I? Let's not be greedy. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm continuing the Facebook challenge that I posted a couple of days ago. So today's two poems are entitled, The Salsa is Not Hot Enough and Dreams. Um, those were my two uh, new prompts. And those were by um, Angie Chen gave me The Salsa is Not Hot Enough, which thanks Angie, that's a really great topic. And uh, my Aunt Laura gave me dreams. So we'll start off uh, with salsa. This salsa is not hot enough. It tastes like tomato paste, like Thanksgiving lasagna and cheeseless pizza. And I have been trying to remember the way something shocking clings to the roof of my mouth. The way I breathe through my teeth for a moment, hissing as I inhale air cool enough to douse the fire within me. And this salsa has the personality of a cafeteria food puree. And I'm remembering how every flavor was so much more intense when I was small. Like, gray skies have sucked the potency out of my taste buds, and I am thoroughly uninspired. And then this is dreams. I dreamed once that I was the new cannon girl in a traveling circus, and my skirt was blue, and my eyes were green, and my hair was burned off by the gunpowder I spent my days talking to. I spent my nights talking to the road, and it told me that I was a gypsy and a nomad, and then the night agreed with the road, and we all decided that you deserved better. So I left you, like the train never leaves the tracks, and then I was in a 76 Chevy Impala convertible with black racing stripes raked down the red, and a scarf was wrapped around my eyes, but it didn't matter where the lines were painted on the road because they swirled and looped and read free in graceful script, and I knew it all led to you. Okay, um, so those are the poems for today. A uh, quick note, um, the line, the new canon girl, um, or, what did I say? That was the new canon girl, yeah. Uh, that's actually kind of a funny story, and I'll tack my big sister in this. My oldest sister, Megan, is actually in the circus, which is, like, the most cool thing ever. Um, she plays trombone, but, uh, I was visiting her, I got to see her, and I got to see her show, and we were backstage, I had, like, the whole VIP access tour, um, and... Someone in the elevator asked me if I was the new canon girl. And I was like, um, we could improv it. Let's just, let's go. Um, obviously, that didn't actually happen because I'm afraid of, like, fire and being shot out of things. And uh, I, I, I can barely handle the merry-go-round, let's be honest. But, um, so that was pretty cool. So I include that in my poem. Um... I guess that's really all I want to say. So thank you again, Angie and Aunt Laura, for your topics. And I'll get to the next two tomorrow. And they are, let me see. We've got statistics and love. Maybe I should combine that into one poem. What do you guys think? We'll see. Anyway, I'm posting this now. Um, have a great day.